While two of our crew were busy being a backdrop for the media's coverage of the upcoming Sunshine Coast Council's Emergency Expo. Six other crew departed for the Barwen Banks to bring back a disabled 70-ton fishing boat. With the seventh, Master Steve Dolgerous in command, the round trip for our largest rescue vessel, Malulaba Rescue, exceeded 50 nautical miles. The 17.5-metre fishing boat weighing in at 70 tonnes and reporting electrical failure was a handful to manage in the conditions. Offshore the wind strength was 6 on the Beaufort scale. That means a strong breeze of 22 to 27 knots, with maximum wave heights of 3 to 4 metres. A confused southerly and easterly swell of 1.5 to 2 metres offshore made the assist quite challenging. The target vessel's steerage was ineffective, and so, it was fortunate, that in the lee of the Point Cartwright headland, conditions at the entrance were relatively benign. Helped by there not being a great deal of traffic in the channel. What did not help, was that the entrance has been silting up badly in recent weeks, and after almost eight hours at sea and a falling tide, our tired crew still had lots to do, before this assist could be considered a success. Having safely negotiated the shallow bar, Steve had to establish on which side to raft up this large target vessel. The crew then had to consider how best to set up our fenders and lines, bow and stern, breast and springs, in readiness to have the tow brought alongside, without risking damage of any kind. This clip is now speeded up to show the progression up the channel. With two to three meters visibility in the river mouth, you can just make out the sandy bottom. This shows just how tight the navigable channel is in this area, even though it is still only two hours after high water. When you consider the possibility of encountering other river traffic, and that the distressed vessel's steering was out of action. Strong breeze, mid-tide, narrowest of narrow channels, you can imagine that Steve and his crew found this part of the assist most challenging. Especially when the initial intent was for the fishing vessel to be anchored outside the entrance to await a repair team to get to her and fix the electrics. At the river's widest point, our Malulaba rescue brings the target vessel alongside both boats turn broadside onto the wind, and so, time is of the essence, to get this large vessel tightly rafted up, before our vessel can get underway, and in full control once more. Once Steve is satisfied all is secure, he carefully maneuvers the target vessel to her intended berth. All are relieved and happy that this assist has gone well, under challenging conditions. The crew are rewarded with a lovely rainbow at journey's end. And we leave this video with Jess Ross of ABC Radio talking to our crew about the upcoming Emergency Services Expo. Sunshine Coast Emergency Crews are joining forces for an event aimed at giving residents a glimpse into how they operate. The Emergency Expo will be held at Lake Kiwana on the 21st of May. The free event will include demonstrations from fire, ambulance, police and Coast Guard personnel. Lullabar Coast Guard skipper Richard says it's the perfect opportunity to educate the public and potentially recruit more volunteers. Although boat crew is the Cinderella of what we do, uh, radio is our biggest problem, recruiting people for the radio operation. We're one of the only stations on the Sunshine Coast uh, that operates 24-7, but it is difficult to get volunteers to, to come in for the night watches.